वेलकम अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन जस्ट लाइक क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन इज जस्ट द रिवर्स केस ऑफ द सेम क्वेश्चन देयर इट वॉज गिवन टू वेरीफाई अ रिलेशन बट हेयर वी आर गिवन टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ द वेरिएबल्स ए एंड बी सच दैट द इक्वेशन विल बी सेटिस्फाइड सो वी विल अप्रोच इट इन द सेम वे सो लेट स्टार्ट गिवन ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू वन वन सो दे आर फोर द डिटर्मिनेंट वैल्यू ऑफ ए कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री माइनस टू दैट इज इक्वल टू वन सो दे आर फोर ए स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू वन वन टाइम्स थ्री टू वन वन वी गेट इट टू बी फोर एट फोर थ्री ऑल राइट नाउ वी नीड टू जस्ट पुट इट इन टू द इक्वेशन गिवन a square plus a times a plus b times i is equal to zero. Now, <clears throat> first, let us solve it in the same way. So we get four eight four three as a square, and a times a matrix is three two one one plus b times i that is one zero zero one that is equal to zero. So, let us just put it as it is. Four plus three a plus b. Four plus three a plus b in this side. Eight plus two a plus zero. That is eight plus two a. Here it is four plus a. Four plus a. And here here it is three plus a plus b. And zero means it is zero 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 zero. All right. Now what will we will be doing? We'll be just solving the four equations. See, there are two variables a and b, and there are four equations. So actually, we have four plus three a plus b is equal to zero. Eight plus two a is equal to zero. Four plus a is equal to zero, and three plus a plus b is equal to zero. Now see, there are four equations. So there will be two different kinds of values of a and b all right since each of the two equations can lend me two different values so here we need to find the consistency with the values if the values of a and b are consistent in all the cases then we can easily satisfy it for the values of a and b so let us find from 8 plus 2 a is equal to 0 we have a is equal to minus 4 from 4 plus a is equal to 0 we have a equal to minus 4 so a equal to minus 4 is very consistent now putting a is equal to minus 4 in this equation if a is equal to minus 4 we get b is equal to 1 now putting a is equal to minus 4 b is equal to 1 this 4 Plus three a plus b, we get it is four plus three times minus of a, I mean uh, three times minus of four plus b that is one, and that is. I'm sorry, there was a small mistake here. A square, the element it was eleven, all right, and not four. It is clear that it was eleven. I I did some mistake, so the whole equation would be getting turned into eleven plus three a plus b, or else it won't be consistent. So eleven plus three a plus b that is equal to eleven plus one minus twelve, and that is equal to zero. Hence, a is equal to minus four and b is equal to one, and these are the consistent values that satisfies the equation. All right. Now turning to question number fifteen. Now question number fifteen is a lengthy problem. so we will be a bit more attentive in this here we have a matrix a and in a very similar manner here we have to show that a cube this is the equation that we need to verify now since there is cubic equation involved it is going to be a bit lengthy so let's start we have a is equal to all right so first we are going to find the determinant value of it determinant value you will be finding and it will result in minus 11 <coughs> now we have a square therefore a square equal to and a square will give you 
all right so similarly a cube you will be getting by multiplying a square once again with a that is equal to now we need, we need to put this in the given equation and see whether the result turn turn out to be zero or not so we have a cube minus 6a square plus 5a plus 11i is equal to so this will give you in fact now if you calculate this you are going to get a big zero i mean zero matrix so hence a cube minus 6 a square plus 5 a plus 11 i that is equal to 0 <coughs> all right now with this once again in the same way we are going to find a inverse so post multiplying now we have a cube minus 6 a square plus 5 a plus 11 i is equal to 0 so post multiplying we get a square into a times a inverse. I'm just writing it directly. Minus 6a times a a inverse plus 5a a inverse plus 11i a inverse that is equal to 0. By calculating, by putting a inverse is equal to i, you'll be getting a inverse is equal to minus 1 by 11 times a square minus 6a plus 5i. Now, Let's find a square minus 6a plus 5i. So a square minus 6a plus 5i. That is going to give you. Solving this, you will be getting 3 minus 4 minus 5. So now a inverse will be equal to minus 1 by 11 times of the given matrix this matrix what we are getting minus 9 1 4 minus 5 3 1 uh, for making it look more beautiful we put the negative sign inside the matrix and we get minus 3 4 5 9 minus 1 minus 4 5 minus 3 minus 1 all right so this completes our video today's part now we did question number 14 and 15 today an important point to remember here is question number 16 the question number 16 that follows question number 15 is exactly the same as question number 15 just with the digit the digit and the matrix the digits in matrix changed so i hope that i won't have to do that once again as it would not be a very good utilization of time both for you and for me you can try it yourself in the completely same way as i've discussed here all right so let us keep up to this today and in the next video i'll be completing this exercise 4.5 with the two objective questions which are very important and we'll be solving that in an objective way thank you very much for watching this video do subscribe my channel